So we've been very vocal how exactly we feel about a subscription service when it comes to Tesla's full self-driving. Just like with a cable modem or something like that. Oh yeah, completely. The, the cable can. company will charge you like $50 a year for rental when you could just pay $50 and own it for the rest of the, and it will last for and a year. I don't, I don't but, I, but again, I just can't, yeah. I just can never imagine paying 300, you know, 200, $300 a month subscription fee. It's like, I, know, I would just why. drive the car myself. I don't I need to pay $300 a month I or, or I would pay the one-time fee and be done with it. Now, there is one subscription service that the race car Model 3 has that I now need to renew if I want to keep that service and it's going to cost me 10 bucks a month so let's jump into it. So with all new Teslas the premium connectivity you will either get 30 days for free on things with partial premium interior which currently are just going to be the standard range plus Model 3s all other Teslas, S, X, Y, Model 3, that's the long range or the performance, will all include one year of premium connectivity free. Now, having enjoyed this unlimited free in the Model S because of when it was purchased, this car was the first Tesla that I purchased that needed to have that renewed after a year. And the time has come. Uh, it actually came a little while ago, but I just didn't do it because I wasn't driving that much so I was like eh we'll just kind of let it slide but the time has now come and now my Model Y that will come due next year and to me that $10 is worth it but let's get into it a little bit more. So that premium connectivity per Tesla's website includes satellite maps with live traffic visualization. Keyword visualization. The car will still navigate off of traffic if you have that in the settings but you just won't be able to visualize or see the traffic in car internet streaming music and media so there's going to be things like the streaming icon the spotify icon car karaoke tune in etc any of those that use data you will not be able to use now the really cool thing though that tesla recently introduced is if you go into your settings and options you can now remove those on the bottom level that you aren't using which is kind of nice but also things that won't be able to be used like under entertainment are going to be the tesla theater stuff like that like youtube etc so that is something that is kind of nice Especially when at like a supercharger or something like that, you can watch some YouTube or anything in your car without premium connectivity, you won't be able to do so. And the last thing's gonna be the internet browser, which to be honest, I don't really use a whole lot anyway. I find it easier to actually just use my phone in most cases, but there are some nice things about using the internet browser in the car that we have done on several occasions. But for me, this $10 a month service is gonna be key for things like Spotify. Now I know you're gonna say, you can just use your phone to stream Bluetooth. I certainly agree, and I do that a lot too. But between Spotify, the streaming music they have in the car, the satellite maps with the traffic visualization, I think this is something, I mean, this is a $10 a month subscription. I'm okay with that. Uh, now, when we talked about the full self-driving subscription, that's gonna be a lot more than $10 a month. So that takes a lot more thought. But for a $10 a month subscription, it's kind of like, meh, whatever. Although, you know, I hate subscriptions. This one isn't one that's that bad, especially in a car that I would like those comforts in uh, when I'm supercharging or what have you. And the nice thing with this subscription is you can start it, cancel it, start it, cancel it whenever you want through the app. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now and see how long it actually takes to show up in the car. So we're gonna do this all on my phone here. As you can see, there is an upgrade button, but that's gonna be things for like full self-driving if you didn't purchase that or any of the other extras. Unfortunately, it won't be there. It's gonna be up here in details. And then you scroll down and you can see subscriptions option. So if we go ahead and click on upgrade, obviously gonna have to blur some of that out, but you can see what it will include, navigation, live traffic visualization, satellite view maps, video streaming, karaoke, you can actually see it. You can click there and see it's $9.99 a month, etc. The payment, I have my credit card already on file, so we're good there. The billing address, good there. Scrolling all the way down, the total due for me is going to be $10.81 because $0.82 cents in tax. So it's $9.99 plus tax per month. 
Um, and then by subscribing, your save payment method will be charged an auto build monthly. Subscription can be canceled anytime, however, it cannot be refunded. So basically, if you cancel in the middle of a month, you're not going to get anything back for the rest of the month that is uh, yet paid for. Um, let's see. Tax is calculated based on your registration address, etc., etc., etc. So let's go ahead and hit subscribe. It's thinking. Holy crap, that immediately came up on the screen and said, congratulations, you have subscribed to Premium Connectivity. And then the screen is rebooting? It's rebooting. That's weird. I didn't get a chance to read everything. But it was instant. I thought I was going to have to wait like a day or so. That's actually pretty dope. I like that. And then here on the phone, it says you subscribe to Premium Connectivity. Your Premium Connectivity description will start on November 8th and will auto-renew monthly. And then if we go to Vehicle Details, here you can see your subscription. You can see when it will renew, etc. your receipt, and you can actually hit Manage, and that will pull up a separate page. And you can cancel right there at the bottom if you decide to. And I just got an email, <laughs> all kinds of cool things, that says, you've subscribed to Premium Connectivity. So here you can now see we have this. So we can get our satellite view. Absolutely love satellite view over just the maps. I don't know, comment below, but I'm a satellite fan. I absolutely love that. And then if we go into our music here, we can see... Uh, streaming, we can go ahead and play any of that. I would get copywritten if I did that right now though, so we're not gonna do that. Um, Spotify I can now log in on, we can do car karaoke and tune in. And now if we go into entertainment and theater, we now have everything here that we can go ahead and actually enjoy without being on the home Wi-Fi. Now to ensure we don't get on the home Wi-Fi right now, before I actually did this video, I disconnected from the home Wi-Fi, I went into the Tesla and told it to forget the network to make sure we are not getting anything from the house that all this is coming from the premium connectivity service that we just subscribed to. So there you go. All in all, I'm very impressed with just the purchase experience. I did it on my phone. I hit one button and it immediately, probably within like five, 10 seconds, was on the car that quick. That is impressive to me. I was for sure thinking I'm going to have to wait for maybe an update or something to happen overnight, but it was immediate, which that is what we like to see. We don't want to have to purchase something and then wait for something on the back end to be triggered to then send it to the car. It was that quick. Absolutely love the purchase experience. Now, beside the $10 a month fee, which we can argue is a good deal or is a bad deal. I am a big fan of what it does include. Now let me know below if you are going to purchase this when or if you need to because some of the legacy Teslas like Model S's and X's have premium connectivity for life. Now all the new models do not include that. You either get the 30 day or you get the one year free service. So eventually a lot of people are going to have to subscribe to that premium connectivity to keep a lot of these options. Now is subscribing to that something that you would be doing or not be doing? And if you are going to be doing it, why? What is your favorite must have thing? Is it the satellite maps? Is it the Spotify or streaming music? Or is it the YouTube? Uh, there's several different options. Let me know down below and I'll actually go ahead and post a poll on Twitter as soon as this video goes live and we can see what everyone's opinion is on there. So definitely head over to my Twitter and you can go ahead and partake in that poll as well. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep it on this car until the foreseeable future. I don't know. Uh, we have some really fun things planned with this car still. I'm waiting on some more equipment to come in without saying too much. Super excited to kind of show you guys that. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your Model S, X, Y, or 3, 
much like this one. Definitely check them out. I'll link to down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap. Not only will it help protect that piano gloss black material from scratches, dust, fingerprints, etc. But it really helps kind of make your car your own. You can do pretty much anything you can think of. And our second favorite item is definitely going to be a matte screen protector. We have these on every single one of our Teslas. They are a must have. Not only do they help reduce glare from the sun, which in Colorado, we have a ton of that, but thanks to an oleophobic surface, they help reduce any fingerprints that you might be getting from touching the screen. So definitely something to check out. And again, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean. And as always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video, go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.